This is a video showing the initial connection of the NR500 to Wavelogger X software on a PC. If you do not have Wavelogger X installed on your PC, you can download it from keyends.com. For this video, we will be using an NR500. An NRTH08P with two K-type thermocouples, the NRU5 power supply, and the included USB cable. First, we have the hardware setup. Ensure that the dip switches on the side of your NR500 are set to the desired NRID position. If you only have one unit, we recommend keeping both switches down for ID0. Connect your measurement unit to the side of your NR500. You can attach your sensors at this time. For a secure connection, tighten the set screw into the NR500 main unit. Plug in power and USB cables into the NR500 main unit. Once everything is connected, you can expect to see a green LED light up on the NR500. Go to your PC and open Wavelogger X. When opening the software for the first time, you will be asked to select a device, NRX100 or NR500. You will want to select NR500 for the unit we have connected. This sets our startup interface. We can change this setting along with others in the system configuration setting. To open the system configuration settings, click on the folder icon in the top left of Wavelogger X Select Environment, System Configuration Setting. Common settings that we recommend are adjusting the unit display settings to the P type, selecting your preferred temperature unit and ensuring that you have the correct startup interface. Click Save Configuration to complete the system configuration settings. At any point, if you want to check or troubleshoot your connection, you can click the Connection Check button in the Home tab. If you are not properly connected, you will see a window with connection failed. To resolve this, make sure that have the correct connection target, interface, and ID of master unit selected. If you have one NR500, it is easiest to set these as NR500 USB and ID of NR500 ID0. If you are properly connected, you will see a communication window that displays system settings and connected measurement units. This is the end of the initial connection.